So it's 2019 and the year of the Samsung Galaxy S10. So what would it look like? So we've got plenty of leaks to suggest we're getting three versions of the Samsung Galaxy S10. The first one, and this will be the cheapest one out of the three, is called the Samsung Galaxy S10e. And this will have a 5.8 inch display. And that display will be completely flat, no curved edges whatsoever. The whole punch for the camera will be towards the right hand side. And in some leaks, it did suggest it was going to be towards the left, but it looks like it's going to be actually on the right hand side. You're going to get dual rear facing cameras with no fingerprint sensor along the back. That's because the fingerprint sensor is going to be within the screen itself. So just holding the screen down with your fingertips will unlock your device. I can't wait to actually use that, see how well it works as the fingerprint sensor will be just below the screen. Now, moving on to the Samsung Galaxy S10 itself, the middle variant, this is gonna have a 6.1 inch display with curved edges. Single camera across the front, again, hole punch out towards the right hand side. However, this one along the rear will have three rear facing cameras. The battery capacity across all these devices looks as if it's gonna be around about 4,000 milliamp hours with about 12 gigs of RAM. 12 gigs of RAM on a smartphone. Absolutely amazing, but we'll have to wait and see. And the third device, the variant of the Samsung Galaxy S10 is called the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And this will have a 6.4 inch display with a dual camera, dual front facing camera, I'm gonna say. Hole punch out again towards the right hand side of the display. Fingerprint, in-screen fingerprint sensor on the front of the device. You've got three cameras across the back there. So that should be pretty cool. Again, 12 gigs of RAM is suggested, but 12 gigs of RAM, is that overkill? I should think it's gonna be more like six maybe. And for those of you rocking 3.5 millimeter audio jacks, it looks like the Galaxy S10s, all three versions will have the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, so you don't have to go wireless. They're also still going to be having the big super button. Hopefully, hopefully Samsung will make this reprogrammable so we can make it something more useful if you're not a Bixby user. Actually, taking another closer look at the case leaks for the Galaxy S10s, the Samsung Galaxy S10e will not get a fingerprint sensor within the display. Obviously, this is gonna be the cheaper model, so they're gonna try and keep costs down. So no fingerprint sensor within the screen for the Galaxy S10e. But if you look closely, the power button on the S10e is larger than the other two variations. So does this mean we're gonna get the fingerprint sensor actually built into the power button like we've seen on Sony devices previously? I've gotta say I'm a little bit disappointed with lots of these hole punch displays. You'd think with transparent display technology, you could just sit the camera just underneath the display and use it the full screen as an actual screen. And then when you launch the camera application, it makes the pixels where the camera sits transparent and then the camera can do its thing. That would be a much nicer solution in my opinion. But let me know in the comment section down below what you think. But there we have it guys. Do let me know in the comment section down below. Please leave a like if you're actually excited for the Samsung Galaxy S10. There's plenty of tech coming out. So if you're not already subscribed, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.